right, Jeff here again. Uh, we're talking about uh, muting, palm muting, and it's very important uh, when you're playing solo acoustic guitar. Um, sometimes you want all of those six strings to ring out, and other times you just want a couple of those strings to ring out. So I can give you a couple of uh, examples there. A chord like this, a little movement like this. This is a, a little blues in A that I was playing. And with a chord like that, I'm getting all of those strings to ring out there from the A string all the way up. My palm is sitting there on the bridge and there's all sorts of subtle movements that I can make. Just bringing that over just a little bit so I can, I can deaden the strings a little bit. Sometimes with uh, uh, certain chords, I'm just wanting that bass note there, this third string and this top string. They're the only ones that I want to hear and I'm doing a, a bit of a mixture of muting behind the string with my uh, fretting hand. So this, this finger here is just resting on that second string and that's stopping it from ringing out. But the other string that I don't want to hear is this D string. And the way that's being muted is my palm just coming over across the bridge and it's just sitting on that, that D string enough to, to stop it from resonating. If I pick on it uh, with this finger hard enough you can still hear it but if I'm not striking it it's not resonating. Uh, some people find this sort of action comes quite naturally other people have to work on it a little bit. One of the first things that I suggest to, uh, to students that come in, I, I sometimes we'll find students are learning to play like this, say with a rhythm like that. That sounds okay. See how high my hand is above the strings. If you bring that down there, I'm able to give that a little bit more uh, percussiveness. I'm able to control just how much those strings sustain and I'm doing a lot of that with the, the, the palm coming across there, a little bit with this hand on the frets deciding which strings are ringing out and which ones aren't. So sometimes we're doing uh, funkier rhythms, I like to use a flat pick for this and I can do this sort of thing. See, I'm playing the whole guitar, I'm, I'm going across all of those strings, but I'm doing a mixture of uh, muting there, some of it with the uh, picking hand here. As it slaps down, that's giving, uh, giving us the impression of a beat, you know, as we go down like that. It just slaps down. So the impression, hopefully, to the people that are listening is that there's, there's a, a, a kick drum or a snare drum accenting the beat there. But it's also muting those strings as it comes down so they're not ringing out all the time. That would be the difference. Right. So, uh, so that's how effective the muting can be uh, with a funky rhythm like that. <laughs>